gospel, that Christ Jesus died for our sins according to the scriptures and that his body was buried and that his body was resurrected on the third day according to the scriptures. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 1 to 5. And if Christ died instead of me because of my sins, that on the cross of Calvary he, out of infinite love for my soul, allowed it to be carried in his body, as Isaiah says 53 6, but Jehovah carried in him the sin of us all, and as 1 Peter says 2.24, Christ himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, and he, instead of me, because of my sins that were imputed to him he died for my sins, I will not die for my sins, and the reason for this is very simple. I will not die for my sins, because the one who died instead of me for my sins was Christ. And no one is sentenced to death twice for the same crimes. A sin is a crime punishable by death for the soul. The Lord said it, the soul that sins will die, Ezekiel 18.4, because the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ who is our Lord. The soul that sins will die, but Christ died for my sins, your sins are sins. For the wages of sin is death, Romans 6.23, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ who is our Lord. The soul that sins will die, Ezekiel 18.4, but Christ died for our sins. And if Christ instead of me died for those who were attached to me, I will not die for those who were attached to me and the reason is because Christ instead of me died for those who were attached to me and the Lord having said before going to the cross in John 10:28, and I give eternal life to your souls and your physical body will not die forever because according to John 6:40, Christ said and this is the will of the one who sent me that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life and I will resurrect your body on the last day, your physical body and I give eternal life to your souls that have eternal existence and your bodies will not die forever because I am going to resurrect your bodies on the last day. In John 3, 18 Christ says, He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Having said the Lord before going to the cross, and I, I give you eternal life, and you will not die forever. That is why the Lord warns the unbelievers in John 8.24, to the unbelievers, to this great salvation, consummated on the cross of Calvary 2000 years ago. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. And to die in sins is to have to go to hell with all the sins committed to be taken out and appear before the judgment before the great white throne of Revelation 20 from 11 to 15 and here you have to surrender the sins one one before God and sins are paid for with the death of the soul. With the death of the soul. Christ said in John 5:24, Truly, truly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes him who sent me and he who sent the Son was the Father and the Father has testified that he has given eternal life to our children souls and that this life is in his son, that he who has the son has life, he who does not have the son of God does not have life, he does not have eternal life. 1 John 5 verses 10 to 12, and believe him who sent me, he has eternal life and does not come to judgment, he has passed from death to life. John 5 24, having said Christ and I give you eternal life, having said the Father and I have given eternal life to your souls and this life is in his son. Life is in my Son. He who has the Son has eternal life. Having said the Son and the Father, the two who have given us eternal life, now Christ says in John 5.24, Verily, verily, I say to you, whoever hears my word, to him I give eternal life. And believe him who sent me, I give him eternal life. And this life is in my Son. It has eternal life. And he doesn't come to trial. He has passed from death to life. Have you believed that Christ died for your sins and thus Christ gave eternal life to your soul? Did Christ die for your sins? Yes or no? Are you certain of what awaits you after you die? Faith, in Hebrews 11, 1, is certainty of what is hoped for. Are you certain that when you die you go to heaven? What do you base your answer on? What are you good at? What keeps sanctity? What fulfills the commandments? What has sin left behind? If you say that, you are going to hell, you are condemned. But if you answer that you are certain that after you die you go to heaven and you base that answer on the fact that Christ died for your sins, then you have believed in the gospel with faith and that justifies it and that does it for you.
effective soul the eternal life consummated by Christ for his soul, on the cross of Calvary, for his soul. Then you, when you die, go to heaven. Did Christ die for your sins? Yes or no? Are you certain of what awaits you after you die? What is your answer about? If you answer the basis that you are good, leave sin, go to hell. Because that will be enough product to condemn you of a person who is relying on his works of righteousness to be saved. It's depending on you. But if you base your answer that when you die you are certain that you are going to heaven, on the fact that Christ died for your sins, you are believing with faith in the gospel. Then eternal life becomes effective for your soul, conquered by Christ 2,000 years ago, completely consummated 2,000 years ago on the cross of Calvary. When he dies he goes to heaven. Christ did not come to die for your sins so that you do not know where you go after you die. The fact that you do not know where you are going after you die is because you have not believed with faith that Christ already saved you when he died for your sins. And that condemns him. He who does not believe in the gospel will be condemned. Mark chapter 16 verse 16. Christ said I give you eternal life and Christ does not lie. At the 28th level. I give eternal life to your souls and that eternal life was consummated on the cross when the consummated saying is having died for our sins. Now the Lord warns, he who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And one proof that you have not believed with faith that when Christ died in your place for your sins you have not believed with faith that Christ gave you eternal life is that you are not certain of what awaits you after you die. And faith according to Hebrews 11.1 1 is certainty of what is hoped for, conviction of what is not seen in John 5 and 1 John 5.13 the Apostle John writes to believers in Christ. I have written these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. Did Christ die for your sins? Yes or no? Are you sure what awaits you after you die? Or do you walk in darkness without knowing where you go after you die? In John 12, 35 the Lord warns, He who walks in darkness does not know where he is going. John 12, 46, I, the light, have come into the world so that everyone who believes in me does not remain in darkness, does not remain without knowing where they are going after they die. Every person who remains without knowing where he is going after dying goes to hell because it is sufficient proof that he has not believed that when Christ died in his place for his sake, he gave him eternal life. 